بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد تیرے مائی ٹاپک از این ایکسرپ فرام دا پروگرامز آف ون آف دا پروگرامز آف حضر جی رو کی باتیں اینڈ ان دس پروگرام ہی آلسو آنسرز دا آبجیکشنز دیر آر بین میڈ آن اولیاء کاملین اینڈ کرامات اینڈ دا تھنگس دیر آر اسوسیٹیڈ وتھ تصوف بیسکلی سو ٹوڈے از کوشچن از دیٹ is against, there is an objection on the karamat that today if there are awliya Allah that are present then why do they not present any karamat? We hear about, we hear about big karamat of the awliya in the past so uh, why is there any more, why there is not any more karamat? And they say that if all the awliya that are present today they get together they cannot even pluck a leaf. Forget about the karamat, karamat is a bigger phenomena but they cannot even pluck a leaf. So this was a question that was presented and to that Hazaji responds it. He would respond that for karamat, this is not necessary. If all the awliya, they do not present any of the karamat, it presents no harm to the credibility of the vilayat. Because the vilayat does not depend on the karamat, rather the karamat depends on the vilayat. There could be a wali and he can live all his life without presenting a single karamat and it does not affect his uh, vilayat at all. On the other hand, if there is a karamat that, that depends on the vilayat, that you have to be a wali of Allah to present a karamat. If you are not a wali of Allah and you are doing these unusual activities, that that could be some kind of an illusion, that could be a magic or some other skills, but it is not the karamat. So for the karamat to be presented, it has to be uh, carried out by a wali, but uh, it is not the, but the de, but wali is not depending on the karama. The, depend, the credibility of the wali does not depend on the karama. Right? What is the example of the karama? He says the example of the karama is that of a beautiful dress. If you have a beautiful dress on a beautiful body, a healthy body, it only beautifies the body. It does not mean you are not healthy or you are not in a good standing or you are, uh, you know, if you are lacking something, if you don't have a pu beautiful dress on you. Right? So karama is the example of a beautiful dress on a beautiful body but it does not mean that if a person is putting on regular clothing it is that he does not have a good body right and a, a, a healthy body and etc etc and then Hazaji also says that the real objective a person should have is seeking the vilayat seeking the friendship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon which the salvation depends on the real closeness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what is needed. Karamat is something extra. Karamat means honor. Karamat means dignity. This is an extra honor. This is an added thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes out of his infinite wisdom would have, sh would show on the hands of a wali to, for his uh, various wisdom that he has, wants to carry out. And if he chooses not to, then there is no need for a wali to present a karamat. And then he says that with the same token, if this is the question you have, that you are going to accept the vilayat of a person when uh, he is showing the karapa in the same token, then people would go and they would, should de start denying or refusing the validity of the hadith if the, we do not have the muhaddisin just like that of Imam Bukhari and Imam Muslim. You know, Imam Bukhari, Imam Mu Muslim, these are the ones who are hafiz hadith hafiz hadith means they have memorized 100,000 hadith hundred thousand ahadith and how many of us have the memory of hundred thousand ahadith so if basically no if, if with the same token people might argue start arguing you know since we do not have the muhaddisin of the early times we don't have a muhaddis like that of imam bukhari we don't have a muhaddis like that of imam muslim so that means they should start deny the, uh, and refuse the validity and credibility of the hadith no just like Muhaddisin have come in different times according to the wisdom and the, the desire of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but we still accept the validity of the uh, hadith and uh, its authenticity and everything. In the same way, the karamat of different types depend on the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when there are awliya and Allah wants to adorn them with this special blessing of karamat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would adorn them. And he also says that what is a bigger thing that of the, than the karama? Karam, the bigger object than that of the virtue, the bigger virtue than the karama is the istiqama. Al istiqamatu fawq al karama. Istiqamat means being persistent, being punctual.
right? That istiqama is a bigger virtue than that of the karama. What is istiqama? If there is a wali of Allah, he regularly prays, regularly prays his tahajjud, regularly, regularly does his adhkar, re regularly he stops himself from uh, the disobedience and sins of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He regularly, uh, he serves the mankind, regularly he serves the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He never skips, right? from any of his responsibilities, then this is a bigger virtue than that of the karama. Okay? And with that said, karama is just an extra gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he also adds that even today, there are awliya Allah, whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed them with the karama. They come in different colors and different forms. And just because our heart is not clean, because of not having a clean heart, we are not able to see them, we are not able to feel them, and we, don't, we are not able to uh, be blessed from the, with those karama. And why is that? What is that default in the heart? The heart has kina. Kina means a malice, envy, evil of the heart, malice. That you have kina in the heart. Because of that kina in the heart, people have left the maslak of ahl sunnat wal jama'ah. They have left the maslak of the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah and because of that kina, they are not able to see the true colors of the karamat and they think that this is illusion and this is magic and they start making fun of those things. Right? When you have a clean heart, you have a beautiful heart, then you would see the things with beauty and love and if you have the hate for something in the heart, you would never love them. Right? It's happened in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu right? Abu Jahal was seeing Prophet sallallahu with a different heart and he had a different opinion. In the same way, Sahaba radiallahu anhu majma'in, they were seeing the Prophet sallam with a pure heart, with the love of, in the heart and they had different opinions about Prophet sallallahu alayhi So this is, this is a very na natural phenomenon. So what is this Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the Maslak of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah has to do with the kina, with the malice of the heart? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he repeatedly say, Alaykum bi sunnati, hold tight to my sunnah, right? Uh, have my sunnah upon you, make, make this incumbent upon yourself, my sunnah. People ask, Ya Rasulullah, what is your sunnah? He said, my sunnah is that your heart be clean from any kinds of kina, any kinds of malice, any kinds of hatred. So, what is the sunnah of Prophet ﷺ? Having a beautiful heart, which is free from kina, malice, and hate for others. Right? And the maslak of Ahl Sunnat wal Jama'ah means this is a maslak that includes everybody and does not have hate and malice for anyone. All the other sects, they are based on kina, they are based on hatred and malice. For example, people who have uh, billah, hate for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa they have a sect. You know, you know them as Jewish, Jew, Jewish people and you know them as Christians. Right? And the people who have hate for the Sahaba, it has a different sect. People who have a sect, uh, um, uh, hate for awliya kamilin, they, have, they are turned into a different sect. So all this different sects that we have today is because of the hate that they have either for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi or they have it for sahaba or they have it for awliya kamilin or they have it for fuqaha ikram. People who ha have this envy and hate towards the fuqaha ikram, they have a different sect. People who have the hate and uh, malice for uh, muhaddisin ikram, they have they are munkare hadith. So all these sects today we see is based on the kina that they have in our heart. And only ahl sunnat wal jama'ah is one sect that is on the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu with the jama'ah of the Rasul uh, sahaba ikram radiallahu anhum ajma'in who honor everyone. They honor Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi the sahaba ikram radiallahu anhum ajma'in, fuqaha, awliya kamilin, ulama rabbaniyin, muhaddisin, all of these uh, pious group, they all uh, you know, show respect and love towards these people. That is why these are the people who are able to see the true colors of miracles, the true color, th colors of karamat. And there are so many different karamat that are present today. Today I'll be give, giving to you three different karamat of our Hazaji. There are many. We have been with Hazaji. We have seen so many. Uh, but these are the things that could be checked with the uh, with the with the record, right? Number one is. In 2007, Hazaji used to take the group of Muridin, everybody knows, like 200, 300 Muridin would go and they would go uh, make an annual picnic. And uh, we would do this for many years in Belmont Park. So, a lot of Muridin who are here right now, they remember. In 2007, there was a forecast. They, we already had decided, Hazaji has already decided the date and time. And uh, on that day, though, you know, weather changes and there's a forecast for rain, and there's a heavy rain. 
But so the, the Muridin are calling Hazaji that, uh, what is the plan? Are we canceling the picnic? Hazaji said, no, we are not canceling the picnic. You should just go. So they said, what about the rain? Hazaji said, just go. And then he says that I connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Ya Allah, this is the only time we get. Right? Uh, other, the other, part, other days of the year, we are very busy in your deen and the you know, responsibilities that you have given on us. But this is the only time we could spare for this picnic and having entertainment. And this is what's happening. So change your words for the weather. And Imam Khuram Shahzad Sahib, who just spoke to us before, and he, he made it to the park with his family. And then he called. And Hazaji asked, what about the weather? He said, there is rain everywhere else, but there is no rain in the park area where we are supposed to have a picnic. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And this is something that could be cross-checked. You can go to the Weather Channel and even the uh, park rangers, right? You know, park rangers, they were surprised to see what is this going on? Who is trying to have a picnic in such a rainy day? And uh, there is this brother, Ilyas said, he's, when he to tells his uh, colleagues at the job that, you know, tomorrow I need a day off because I'm going to picnic, you know, his colleagues, they tell him as a joke, then say my salam to the ducks. Because all you're going to see is some water and you're going to be seeing some ducks over there. So he made a joke out of it. And Hazaji went there and they had a picnic. And this picnic is an entertainment in a very unique way. And after that, uh, they had salah and then the zikr. And the people who were present in that time, they even saw angels that were surrounded by the angels in the trees around in the park. So this was this is a karamat. All you need is that love in the heart and the eyes to see this is a form of a karamat that everywhere else there is rain and this could be cross-checked with the dates in 2007. The next big karamat is that in 2007 about the Eid. In the month of Ramadan, Muridin, few Muridin were making a tikaf in this masjid, the whole masjid. And after the nine days, Hazaji was making the dars of uh, tabligh e -deen. This is the book of Imam Ghazali, rahimahullah ta'ala. And then he was shown that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had concluded the month of Ramadan with 29 days. And the next day would be the Eid. So he asked everyone that you want Eid tomorrow or you want to complete 30 days. Of course, everybody wanted to conclude with 29 days and then they get to go home. And then Hazaji smiled and he said, all right, Eid is tomorrow. And this is the day, this is the year that the next day was Eid, even though they were thinking of making 30 days, but everyone, according all sects, everywhere, the nationwide, there was only one Eid, and it was with the conclusion of 29 days. The next day was Eid. So this is another sign of the Karamat, which could be cross-checked. And then also in the times of Sandy, this was that I myself was present here. Right? I myself was present here. The time of Sandy, Hazaji came and we were getting the news of Sandy. We all came upstairs and we, make, we're, we were making the dua, we would turn off the lights. And there are other people who, are, who were also here. Dr. Altaf, he's in Pakistan right now, he, when he was here. And uh, uh, Brother Yasir Salim was telling us the news, what has, uh, where this is uh, moving, in the direction that it was moving. So all these near, uh, news were coming and we were making the dua. Hazaji was making the zikr and dua. And the storm came very close to the Queens and it turned. It changed its route. Not only to Queens, but so many people, so many Muridin were telling Hazaji to make and making dua that, uh, in Staten Island and different places uh, they, uh, to make dua for them. And Hazaji was making his tawajjuhat and his duas. And those people in Staten Island, they said, you know, the, uh, the sandy came so close, the water came so close, but then it changed directions. Happened so many times. I was here. So majorly, this area of Queens Allah saved and there was so many uh, incidents where people's individual houses were saved and they were in connection and there are many many other karamat that we can see I know I have witnessed myself especially the karamat in the matters of weather you know a lot of times Hazaji would make dua and the weather would clear up a lot of times when it's hot and we need rain Hazaji would make dua and the rain would come down so Hazaji says that if karamat can happen with him, when he uh, when he is uh, he he's, he's trying to be very humble, but he in our eyes is a big wali of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala increase his uh, darajat. 
but he's with himself he says that he is a very humble being so what do you say about the karamat from all over the world as he says that awliya from all over the world cannot pluck up leaf what do you think of one person doing so much so what can what type of changes a whole uh, group of awliya can bring he does not even know so these are the propagandas awliya kamilin can uh, because they are the representatives of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their karamat are haq karamat wa awliya haqqun so Inshallah, that concludes my topic.